Hey everybody, it's the Chris and Des Show. I'm Chris. And I'm Des. And today we're going to be doing our predictions for the 2016 Oscars, because they're tomorrow. Tomorrow! So we're going to go through each category, we'll tell you who's nominated, and then we'll tell you who we think is going to win. Not, Not who necessarily, we yeah, who we think should, but who we think is gonna. <clears throat> okay, so the first category is Adapted Screenplay, and the nominees are The Big Short, Brooklyn, Carol, The Martian, and Room. Des, who do you think is going to win? I think The Big Short will probably win. I agree. Same thing. All right. Even though I love Brooklyn. <laughs> Always. All things Brooklyn. <clears throat> I can't find the original screenplay, but we're going to go on to the musical. <laughs> we did Best Song. That's weird. Uh, oh. It earned it from Fifty Shades of Grey, Manta Ray from Race and Extinction, Simple Song 3 from Youth, Till It Happens to You, The Hunting Ground, and Writings on the Wall from Spectre. Which was the Lady Gaga one? The hun- Hunting uh, Ground. Yeah, Till It Happens to You. I think that's you. I think that's they're going right. to go Lady Gaga. That song is so good. And it's important. It means something. It's about um, sexual abuse. So, I think Did you see that movie? That it was... No, I didn't. I just actually I bought it. I just bought it on iTunes because it was only nine dollars, but I haven't watched it. Uh, all right. And then live action short film. I saw all the shorts, and I, I didn't see any of them. I have no opinion. I liked a lot of them. I just hopefully not Ave Maria. I heard some people say they were rooting for that one, but I, I thought it was a dumb one. I think Shock is gonna. I think I'd go with Shock. Okay, Let's I agree. Shock. Whatever you say on these. An animated short film. The nominees are Bear Story, Prologue, Sanjay Super Team, We Can't Live Without Cosmos, Our World of Tomorrow. Sanjay Super Team is what I vote. It's uh, the only one I saw, and I like Pixar. I've heard a lot of people talk about how World of Tomorrow is so weird, and they really like it. It's edgy and different, but I'm going to go with Bear Story. I think they like that Bear Story. It was cute. I liked it. Documentary feature, Amy. Cartel Land, The Look of Silence, What Happened, Miss Simone, Winter on Fire, Ukraine's Fight for Freedom. I think having not seen any of these, I'm going Amy. I've seen most of them, and I think I'm going to go Amy too. I think they're feeling like, for her, for her. Uh, yeah. No. I, I liked, that it was really good. I like What Happened to Miss Simone just as much, but I think they're going to go Amy. The documentary source, short subjects, it's Body Team 12, Chow, Beyond the Lines, Claude... Lonsman, Spectres of the Shoah, The Girl in the River, and Last Day of Freedom. And I Whatever saw you think. I, I agree saw those. With you. <laughs> Body Team Twelve was my favorite one, uh, but I could see how they would go for A Girl in the River too. Uh, it's about it's about some heavy stuff, important stuff. But I think Body Team Twelve. Let's go with Body Team Twelve. Okay. I think that's enough. There you go. Original screenplay: okay. Bridge of Spies, Ex Machina, Inside Out, Spotlight, and Straight Outta Compton. I think they're going to go Spotlight. I think so, too. That's what I think. I think so, too. Because if it doesn't get anything else, it should get bad. Don't yeah. you think? Oh, yeah. I think so. That's right. I think Spotlight, too. Okay. Uh, best original score is Bridge of Spies, Carol, Hateful Eight, mm-hmm. Sicario, and Star Wars. Uh, I think I said... Oh, gosh. I don't remember. I'm going to go Hateful Eight. I think they're going to go Hateful Eight, too. That's yeah. been winning pretty much everything. It has a great score, too. And they even did, like, you know, an overture and all that kind of stuff. So it has oh, a yeah, lot of score true. as well, too. Uh, as much as I love John Williams, yes. they probably will go with it. And visual effects, Ex Machina, Mad Max, The Martian, The Revenant, and Star Wars. I think Mad Max. I think so, too. I think they're going to Mad Max. I think Mad Max is going to end up winning a lot of Oscars, actually, because a lot of the technical awards, I think, are going to go. Yeah. Sound of Mixing, Bridge of Spies, Mad Max, The Martian, The Revenant, and Star Wars. Uh, sound Mixing, I think maybe they go Star Wars. I think they're going to go Mad Max. I think all these are going to go Mad Max. I just have a Mad Max uh, for Sound Editing, Mad Max, The Martian, The Revenant, Sicario, and Star Wars. I heard a really good tip about sound editing and sound mixing. And that almost like 99% of the time they go with the same movie for both because not even the people voting know the difference between those oh. two categories. <laughs> So whatever you pick so for like one, just pick for the other one because no one else knows what I'm talking about. All right, so we're saying Mad Max. I'll then. say Mad Max for that one because <laughs> okay. I don't think anyone knows what the difference is between um, sound editing and sound mixing. Uh, I'm sure some sound, sound mixers sad I'm sure now someone that I said knows. That. I know. I'm, good job. Someone out there knows. Production design. Bridge of Spies, The Danish Girl, Mad Max, The Martian, and The Revenant. I'm saying Mad Max. I'm saying Mad Max too. Those are some cool... Sets, cars yeah. that they made. If nothing else, it had a cool, it had cool stuff. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then makeup and hairstyling, Mad Max, 
the hundred year old man who climbed out the window and disappeared, and the revenant. I smoke the revenant. You didn't have a good makeup. It was so realistic. I think they're gonna go Mad Max here too. I don't know. I don't know, okay. Because you know that one guy who's like the older guy and his makeup is all like he looks real old and gross. But that didn't seem very complicated. They Leo looked like he was hurt. Okay. Like I'll he you, was I'll bleeding and things were coming I'll give you off that. of I'll give him. You that. Uh Foreign language film, Embrace of the Serpent, Mustang, Son of Saul, Thebe, and A War. Son of Saul. Son of, come on. It has to be Son of Saul. That's the answer. <laughs> it doesn't have to be. It's we going didn't to see be. any it's of the other movies. It's going to be. Okay, I'm just saying. Plus, the Oscars love Holocaust movies. Yeah. Uh, film editing. The Big Short, Mad Max, The Revenant, Spotlight, and Star Wars. Uh, I would go Mad Max with this one. I think they're going to Mad Max, too. See, I told you, we a lot of Mad Max Awards. Let's come back to that one. We'll do costume design. Carol, oh. Cinderella, The Danish Girl, Mad Max, and The Revenant. Mm, I might go The Danish Girl on this one. This is hard for me because I would either go... Cinderella is a typical one to win Oscars. Big, huge, giant gowns that you had to design and intricate and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I think they might go Mad Max on this too. Uh, Mad Max on the costume? They had all that stuff in The Danish Girl. Like, I'll say Cinderella. Oh, okay. I'll say Cinderella. I think they're going to go Cinderella. I think The Danish Girl. Uh, cinematography, Carol, Hateful Eight, Mad Max, The Revenant, and Sicario. You can have Mad Max on this one. I think they go The Revenant. <laughs> on cinematography, okay. I think All the right. way it's shot, they're going to go with that. All right, I'm going to vote Mad Max. Animated film. What's happening? Anomalisa, uh, Boy in the World, Inside Out, Shaun the Sheep movie, and When Marnie Was There. I vote Anomalisa. I think they're going Inside Out. Okay. It's probably one, do. It's one everything. Don't thinking. they like Anomalista? Yeah. But even Did like, I? think about the fact that it has the best screenplay nomination, Inside Out. Oh. That gives it a lot more. That gives it weight. Director. The Big Short, Mad Max, The Revenant, Room, or Spotlight? The Revenant. The Revenant. That's what should win. That's and that's what, what will win. Absolutely. I'm, unless they do a Mad Max thing, but Ugh. they could. They could. Guess it's not a Mad Max thing. I'm not. I'm sorry. Okay. Supporting actress, Jennifer Jason Leigh from The Hateful Eight, Rooney Mara, Carol, Rachel McAdams, Spotlight, Alicia Vikander, The Danish Girl, and Kate Winslet, Steve Jobs. I think they go Alicia Vikander. Me too. That's what I think. Supporting actor, Christian Bale, The Big Short, Tom Hardy, The Revenant, Mark Ruffalo, Spotlight, <laughs> Mark Rylance, Spread to Spies, and Sylvester Stallone, Creed. Are they going to do Sylvester Stallone? Is that, I bet they do. I think they do too. Sylvester oh, Stallone. There you go. Uh, actress... Kate Blanchett, Carol, Brie Larson Room, Jennifer Lawrence Joy, Charlotte Rampling, 45 Years, or Shersha Ronan, Brooklyn. I think they probably do Brie Larson. <laughs> I think they go Brie Larson too. They should do Charlotte Rampling. They should. They should Charlotte not Rampling do is Jennifer absolutely Lawrence. Absolutely the best one. No, she shouldn't even be on that list. But Brie Larson is probably who gets it. Best actor. Brian Cranston, Trumbo, Matt Damon, The Martian, Leonardo DiCaprio, The Revenant, Michael Fassbender, Steve Jobs, or Eddie Redmayne, The Danish Girl. Leonardo. Um, they're going to do Leonardo DiCaprio, too. It's easier to win. Even though I love all, I bet all good performances. Yeah, it's a good, it's it's a good category. Good yeah. And then Best Picture. The Big Short, Bridge of Spies, Brooklyn, Mad Max, The Martian, The Revenant, Room, and Spotlight. The Revenant. I think they're going to go The Revenant, too. They should. That... Though I would say Brooklyn is the best movie of those, but that's just my it's personal. It's my favorite opinion. movie, absolutely. But but the way The Revenant is made, yeah, it is a huge is undertaking. It's a well-made well, movie. Well-made movie, definitely. Uh, Spotlight and Big Short are kind of like on the bubble, maybe they get enough momentum. The Oscar voting's over, so you had yeah, the momentum so has to be over. Uh, but <laughs> they had it already. You already needed the momentum, but I think we think that's how it's gonna go. Okay, that's what we think. That's so what we think. We're expecting. The Revenants take some big awards like director and picture, Mad Max take and all actor, and Mad Max to take all the technical, technical awards, stuff. most of the technical awards, if not everything. It could be like a the, Mad Max can walk away with like seven Oscars probably after the end of it. It's a crazy thing. Which maybe then maybe people like it that much for best yeah, director too. Maybe. maybe we'll see. We'll see tomorrow. Who knows? Tune in to ABC tomorrow to watch the Oscars start at 5 p.m. if you're on the West Coast and. 8 p.m. if you're on the East Coast. Maybe it took <laughs> me a second to do yeah. 8 p.m. if you're on the East Coast, okay? Okay, bye. Let's see. Hi, hi.